I thought, wow, I'm going to be going through a trial and I'm going to be in front of a jury, which I was. There were so many things that were violated during that, but it was God's intent that I go through this. 12 jurors, 12 people in a box that were supposedly my peers, which I could not see them as my peers at all. And I'm not saying anything disparaging, but they simply were not my peers. On all counts, guilty, 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 12 people. So I stood up and listened to that, guilty, guilty. And all I could think about was my daughter. Even with a background in counseling and educational psychology, I was a teacher and I loved to do that. And I had a very successful private practice, as well as I had this knack for real estate and financial transactions. And lo and behold, uh, while doing a very successful and lucrative private practice in psychotherapy, I was a psychotherapist and hung that hat up to become the alchemist and the coach. I got involved with some parties that I take total responsibility for. I got involved with some parties that had these intriguing financial service investments. My real crime was I am an expert delegator. I did absolutely no due diligence. I got involved with certain parties that got me involved with certain other parties. And lo and behold, um, while I was raising my daughter, I saw these proverbial words, United States of America versus Rhonda Farrow on a federal indictment. And I said, huh, what is this about? I mean, it was, it was totally terrifying to me. It was terrifying, it was unbelievable. And it was before I was conscious that I needed, <laughs> I needed this not so good stuff in my life because what I was doing was I was segueing away from being in service to others. And were you completely blindsided by this? Like you didn't even know you were committing a crime or you kind of knew you were doing stuff that wasn't right and you were just hoping to not get caught? At the time, yes, I was completely blindsided. I woke up one morning, the police were looking for me. Not just the police, the FBI. And I said, oh my God, what is this about? I found out what it was about. I called up um, at the time, got an attorney, and that turned out to be a total fiasco. And But point is, I surrendered myself. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't have a traffic violation, let alone a criminal record. I'm not a drug user. I never have been and I'm a fitness person. Not only was I blindsided, I later would say, this is a made for TV movie. This cannot be happening. I've learned now over through this situation and as I'm you know, over nearly 20 years older now, I've learned that for me, God throws some pebbles to get my attention, to awaken me. You are not listening, my dear. You are not awakened. You need to be awakened because there's a plan for your life. Because I wasn't following the plan, I was put in a major timeout in a federal prison camp. I thought this, I still was in total disbelief. This cannot be happening. And those challenges were to include uh, incarceration, cancer, and the debilitating effects of divorce, as well as total financial ruin. And the biggest thing I think with respect to the challenges and the struggles that I had, those sorrows were somewhere all in there. In there, I lost my sense of self. So that is why I am dedicated to helping others not only maintain their sense of self, but if necessary, find it, identify it. Again, where has it gone? Let's peel away the layers of the onion and see who it is we really are. Um, and in that, in that quest, uh, as long as others choose to do that as well. Um, most of us conquer our most negative habits and build new and successful lives for ourselves, which um, I think I did.